They stood two meters apart, two lonely figures casting shadows beside the large cross halfway up the hill. The almond tree had burst into full blossom, casting confetti of pink petals that wafted in the springtime breeze towards the Danube and the deserted Liberty Bridge below. One yellow tram like a museum piece mocking a relic of a normal past they both mourned, rattled across the copper-green steel suspension bridge. We're not supposed to meet here, Adrian said. There's no harm in it, Janos replied. He edged closer. His dark eyes burned with yearning. She held her arms out in front. We need to keep the 1.5 meter distance. It's the law. We don't live together. Janos ran his hands through his sandy blonde hair, knotted by the wind, and shifted his gaze to the now closed down Gellert Hotel that still stood in Art Nouveau splendor. His lips tightened as he inhaled, his brow etched lines in his face, aging him for that one moment. Who gives a fuck? There is no one up here to police us, he replied. Who knows we don't live together? Is every passerby going to ask us for our address cards as proof? Janusz's expression softened, and he was a young man again. Despite the angular lines of his face, the high cheekbones and square chin, there was something delicate about his features. With his slightly slanted eyes and full lips, he lunged forward, motioning to grab Adrienne by her waist. But she jumped back. Her heels scuffled against the graveled path as her body stiffened. She trembled, shaking her head. Please, don't, she whispered. You're behaving like I'm going to rape you. What is wrong with you, he said. Adrian paced back and forth. She tried to keep the tears concealed behind her heavy lids and blinked them against the sun. She turned her pointed nose up to the sun. Her round eyes glimmered in a mix of amber with flecks of green under the light. He only wanted a kiss, a kiss she would welcome hungrily in the world of yesterday. Even as the Danube sparkled behind them in the morning light, even as the blossoms fluttered in the air, and even with the man she desired before her, only one thought plagued her. Is he infected? <laughs>